Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I want to wrap this thing up and make one last page. Right here, I'd like to click on my username and I'd like it to take me to all the recipes that I personally have added to the website because I can also log out, log in as another user and add different ones. I want to see which ones I, I added myself. So this is going to be very similar to uh, the pre for this, this component itself. Um, we're just going to filter by recipes that the owner it's himself made. So let's go over to the React um, client. So I'm just going to make a new component called My Recipes. And I'm just going to import React component from React, import card from semantic UI import recipe card. This is the custom component that we made. So we're going to be using that. Extends component. And then in the constructor, we're just going to call an action to download the recipes. So this.props.fetch my recipes this dot props dot user dot data then get the ID so this is the ID of the user we're gonna pass it into this function and this is gonna help this is what we're gonna to use to search for that user's recipe and this is a, a function that we're about to make in our actions so and then render is very simple um, we're just gonna return the cards that are being displayed. So it's going to be a card dot group, and we'll just do four per row. Excuse me, five per row. And then close up our card group. And then here, this dot props. Um, Whenever we save our recipes, we'll all call it my recipes, and then we're going to map each one to a card. So we'll get the recipe, each recipe, and for each recipe, we're going to create a recipe card, passing in the props, and then a key to make it unique, and then the recipe is equal to recipe. And just close that. And we're all done. We just need to export default my recipes. So, okay. So let's go to our action. And let's create that action. Export function fetch. My recipes, passing in the ID of the user, and we'll return type. Our action will be called my recipe fetch requested, and I'm just passing in the ID. So now let's go into the saga. Now, here, I'm going to similarly. We'll have a call my fetch recipe, and we'll have a fetch my oops call my fetch recipe saga, and then we need to make sure to fork it. So my fetch recipe saga, and then we're going to be looking for. Um, the action my recipe fetch requested and when that happens we're going to call my fetch that doesn't make sense fetch my recipe sounds better and say call 
fetch my recipe. Call fetch my recipe. That makes more sense. So fetch my recipe saga. Nice. And then right here, all we're gonna do, um, we're gonna get my recipes. Once we call fetch my recipes, and that's a function we're gonna have to add to the API, um, passing the feathers app and then just the ID of the user. Um, and then after we do that, we're not gonna change the page at all. We're just gonna say my recipe fetch done, passing in my recipes. So we're gonna have to create a reducer for this and add this to the state. And then we also need to make this function right here. So let's come up here, say fetch my recipe. Recipes. Let's add that to our services API. Go down there to the bottom. It's going to be similar to our find right here. Except it's going to be called fetch my recipes. Take in ID. Um, we're going to be using the same service. Um, instead of looking at the ID though, we're going to be looking at owner ID and we're not going to limit it. And then we pass back the data. Perfect. Now let's go add the reducer. So that's going to be in reducers. Um, and then we're creating a new one called my recipes. So function my recipes. The state it begins with no recipes, it's just an empty array. And then we're going to be looking for the action type my recipe fetch done. And we're going to return action dot my recipes. And then we of course have a default state where we just return state. And then just export default my recipes. Now let's add this to the root reducer, which is in our index. So that was my recipes. My recipes. Now this will successfully add to the state. Now we need to map it to our props, which we can do that in our components app right here. So my recipes is equal to state dot my recipes. Is that a comma there? Okay, so our component is all set up. And now we just need to link it and give it a router. So we're gonna go to index. Now for this, all we're gonna do is create a new route. Okay. So if we go to, let's call it profile slash recipes, and we'll do the my recipe. My recipes. Yeah, it's an S. And let's require authentication because you can't look at your own recipes if you're not logged in. Now let's go back over here and let's see if that works. So yeah, refresh the page. Um, and go to what we call it, profile slash recipes. And we can see the one recipe that I've added as test at test.com. Super cool. Um, the rest of them do not have the user because we added them before we were adding users to the database. But what we can do is we can just log out. Let's make a new user. Um, test3 at test.com. Let's log in with them. Let's create a new recipe. Test3. Our Timo. Um, let's do carrots. Carrots are good. And then our description will be broccoli. Submit that. 
we see that there. And then if we go to profile, recipes, we see a test three and only test three. Very nice. So I just want to link up this right here. So if we go to, now what, that'll be our nav bar. So that was in components and then nav bar. So components, nav bar. And then we come down here. It would be in the logged in state right here. We want to add a new link. We could add a new link or we could add an on click. Why don't we do add on click? And let's do what we did below where we did the browser history.push. And let's just go to profile slash recipes. So now I can just click here and go to the recipes that I've made. So we have a working recipe box website now. We can log in, log out. We can add recipes, view the newest recipes here, see the recipes that we added. We're authenticating users and validating the JSON. And we have a working application in React that's talking to our own Feathers server that we set up. Um, so this is looking, this is a great start for an application. And I think I'm gonna leave this here. If you guys have any other features you'd like to see or any other questions or comments about this, please leave a comment below. And I would be interested in continuing this further if there's any other features you'd like to see added. So thanks for watching guys.